Transactions anonymous and privatized. CK snarks here to shield transactions. Pirates got that satisfaction. This day and age, I can get no privacy. Everything I'm being told sounds like a lie to me. I don't care, you can do what you want. I'd rather feel safe and secure than on the run. Can't be compromised. Proof of work, 50% proof of stake. And you can stake it, you can mine it. Uh, with, it's CPU mineable, so you're able to mine it with your phones, old laptops, Raspberry Pis, whatever. <clears throat> and it's uh, really cool what they're doing over there. It gives a gives you an opportunity to uh, interact with their DeFi with a token, <clears throat> with a coin. It's not a token, it's an actual coin uh, that is, you know, backed with real R. As of right now, the price of one VAR is actually costs four pirate chain there's been a lot of demand on it lots of because there is a limited supply of var and lots of people have been pouring into it to stake and to mine and to earn a reward off of it um so there's been a lot of demand on it and the price has skyrocketed but you can always cash out the price does fluctuate like any other asset but there is will always be real pirate chain on komodo wallet that you can swap one to one so even if the price on other platforms or on Veris DeFi dips below one pirate chain for one var you can always sell that bar for one pirate chain on there but there is not a cap to how high it can go it's just as up to market conditions to see how high it can go and as of right now it's four pirate chain or yeah four pirate chain for every one var so it has been seeing a lot of attention. It's really cool. Varus has been blowing up lately. They're a cool project. If you're into DeFi, I think Varus is doing DeFi correctly. I'm not, I personally am not a fan of most DeFi out there, but the way Varus is doing it, I find it to be more decentralized, more sustainable, and just better all around. So if you're not very familiar with Varus, you really need to go check them out. I want to get to this announcement that they made about the mandatory update so I don't get anything wrong here. It's on their announcements channel on their Discord if you didn't see yourself. But it's a mandatory update for, and it needs to be done by November 24th for mainnet and November 12th if you are participating in any testnet. Um, there has been some problems with forking away, uh, you know, nodes forking away from the real chain, and this solves those issues. So it is a mandatory update. They did have an update a few weeks ago also, but I was told if you missed either 
if you missed that last update or if you missed this new one, just uh, update, resync with the bootstrap and you should be fine. And if you have any other issues, uh, go visit the various Discord or various Telegram. Those guys can uh, point you in the right direction. They are more of an expert on it than I am. But you can always help for, ask for help in our Discord also, but you might get faster help if you go over to Varus. So make sure you update. Uh, if you're running VAR, or anything on Varus, make sure you update before the 24th. That's a mandatory update. It's very important you do it. Um, let me see. Uh, next thing I want to mention is the holiday seasons are coming up, uh, especially here in the United States. It's uh, November and December are our biggest shopping seasons of the year. We have our two biggest holidays of the year. Uh, the Friday after Thanksgiving is Black Friday here in the United States. It's the biggest shopping day of the year. And since we are a decentralized currency, we really like to use this time to highlight our merchants. Uh, we call it Pirate Black Friday, or sometimes we call it Support Our Merchants. Uh, and it's the time when we all get together to go spend some of our pirate chain for some of our amazing merchants that are listed on Armada and Barter. That's armada.com, A-R-R-R. MADA.com and barter, B A R R R T E R.com. And uh, barter is similar to eBay. It's a place you can go and buy and sell stuff. You can sell your old things or any products you have a business, if you have any products they produce. It's a platform to buy and sell for Pirate Chain there. And Armada is a merchant directory for all of our merchants. So you have to have a website or a business, especially an in person business, anything that is accepting Pirate Chain you can get it listed on Armada, and that's just a place we can go to quickly look over all of the places we can go and spend our pirate chain. There's some incredible merchants on there. You can buy some awesome stuff, and there's even quite a few uh, in-person businesses that you can go and look up, see if there's any in your community you can go and visit and go and support them. And I find this is incredibly important. This is what makes us different from so many other chains out there. We are actually focusing on building an alternative to fiat, an alternative to using fiat centralized money in the banking banking system and we've built absolutely everything you need to do that everything from full node wallets and light wallets to atomic swaps we have everything you need to do business in pirate chain to save pirate chain to swap pirate chain it's there it's ready to be used for your business uh, for your shopping and it's important that we take advantage of it we're not going to change the world here unless we use it monerotopia actually has a really great uh, slogan for their event this year <clears throat> the theme is, if we use it, we win. And I absolutely love that. I love whoever came up with that because that just perfectly uh, describes what I'm trying to do here. We have everything we need, but everybody's just holding their coins. Everybody's stockpiling them, and uh, they're not using them. When That's the best part about Pirate Chain. It gives you privacy when you're making purchases or when you're doing business or when you're loan lending money to a friend or something like that. That's what Pirates... Pirate Chain doesn't do that much, just sitting... You know, in your wallet, it does keep it private, you know, it does keep it safe. But the biggest benefit of Pirate Chain is that you can go and buy stuff with it and you don't have to give all your information to the merchant. And that people can't just go on a block explorer and go see how much funds you have and see what you're doing with your money. That's what makes Pirate Chain incredible. That's what makes zero knowledge proofs incredible. So we're really doing ourselves a disservice if you're not using this incredible tool that's right in front of us. And I personally think that's how we really make an impact. The you know, the fiat establishment is not threatened by a digital asset that you just hold in a digital wallet and don't do anything with. That doesn't do anything to, you know, give the power over their money back to people. If you're still spending their dollars, if you're, you know, still spending their euros, what really threatens them is cutting them out of the system, replacing them with something we control, something that isn't manipulated and something that's private by default. And that's how we really make an impact in the world. That's how we make the world a better place for our kids and the next generation. And, you know, the generations hundreds of years from now, if we can really build decentralized currencies and shift a focus from fiat and make it normal to not use fiat, to use real decentralized hard currencies, then that can have such an incredible impact on the future of humanity. And we're at a really pivotal moment right now where cryptos go in one of two directions. You know, the establishment really is embracing it. And I think it's more important than ever that we show what we can do with it. We start accepting it. We start preferring it. Anything I buy or sell, I prefer Pirate Chain. If I'm selling anything, I prefer Pirate Chain before anything else. Like, obviously, 
I'll take others if I have to, but I prefer Pirate Chain. And if everybody in our community and everybody in crypto started prioritizing doing business in cryptocurrency as opposed to fiat, we could we have the opportunity to really do something incredible here, guys. But we're at a very important moment. It's time for us to make a decision. Are we all just trying to get rich? Or are we just trying to make our coin, you know, go to the moon so we can make a bunch of money? Or are we trying to make the world a better place? Are we trying to help the future generations? And it's time for us to decide that. And I think Pirate Chain, Black Friday, and support our merchants, whatever you want to call it, I think there's a great opportunity to show. We don't want to lose our merchants that are posting on Armada. So let's go and support them. Go send them some money, get some incredible products. There's quite a few cool things on there, especially if you're just looking for clothes and T-shirts. Why, if you're going to buy a T-shirt this year anyways, why not make it a Pirate Chain T-shirt you bought on Armada? It's you support something incredible. We have They have awesome designs. We have lo loads of talented people. So this is the time of year when it's really time to show our colors. <clears throat> we need to prove that we're here to make a difference and to replace Fiat and to, for something better. So uh, make sure you guys go to armada.com and barter.com and check that out. Make sure you, you can go on there and find your favorite merchant and go make a tweet about them. If you find a merchant on there that's selling a product you really like, go make a tweet about it. Go make a TikTok video about it, whatever social media you want. Be like, check out this awesome store that accepts Pirate Chain and sells these incredible products. I'm sure those people will appreciate it and it will encourage other merchants out there to start accepting Pirate Chain. So let's really not waste this moment. Let's make this holiday season something special. Go buy your Christmas presents with Pirate Chain. I know I will be this year. <clears throat> so let's see. Let me make sure we don't have anybody in the chat here. All right. So uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about, oh, we'll wait a second on that. Um, this past weekend, last Saturday, I went on Crypto Rich's show again. Uh, I think the episode will be out this week. It's something regular we're going to be doing all the time, every month or every other month or so. So it's relatively short, but I'll be going on there and uh, giving short in interviews quite regularly. And uh, it'd be really awesome if everybody could go and, first of all, watch the video and comment and share it, share it because Crypto Rich, you know, he's one of of the social media influencers or content creators crypto rich supports us more than any of them there may be other channels that are bigger but uh crypto rich is a die hard pirate through and through pirates is you know favorite coin he finds incredibly important he's a very very nice dude very passionate and very smart too so if you haven't watched crypto rich you can find him on youtube but i would encourage you to reach out to other platforms i personally watch him on odyssey o d y s e e it's from the library protocol. Anyways, I prefer that over YouTube. That's where I catch his content, but he is also on YouTube. So make sure to keep an eye out for that and uh, share it and like it everywhere. Uh, take clips from it and share it. Do whatever you need to do and send me some feedback too. I'm still kind of new at, you know, going on shows like this <clears throat> and doing these conversations digitally as opposed to in person. So if you guys have any criticisms for me, don't be afraid or comments or uh, any advice. Don't be afraid to reach out. You know, tell me I'm saying something wrong or I need to speak up or comb my hair or something, you know. I appreciate the criticism and I could always use all the help I could get. So, let's see. Did Forge ever make it? <clears throat> make it in? Doesn't look like Forge is going to make it. So, he just had, he just wanted to update everybody on how his work on Orchard is coming. He's made, he's been working hard on it. He's made a lot of progress. It's all going really, really well. Uh, let me read this from him. He said, the wallet can send transactions to Orchard addresses from Coinbase addresses and Sapling addresses and can send transaction to Sap Sapling addresses from Orchard addresses. The primary functionality is 99% complete. There are still bugs we are working on and uh, diversified addresses are not quite working correctly. So he's got the core functionality done. He's working on uh, hammering out the bugs. Well, not just him, Every, but we're all working on, you know, we're in the testing phase right now. We're doing lots of testing and working out these bugs. But we just wanted to let everybody know the uh, development is going well. Everything's going according to plan. And Forge is doing an incredible job. We still don't, 
We don't have a timeline of when it will be released. We want to make sure it's absolutely perfect. This is a huge upgrade for us, very significant. So we are not going to rush it. We're going to make sure we do everything right and that it is very, very thoroughly tested before we ever release it. So uh, keep an eye out on that going into the new year. That is a huge update upgrade. Uh, once it does come out, the Pirate Chain users probably won't notice that much difference in functionality, but it is very, uh, it's a very big deal that it gets rid of the trusted setup. And it does have some scalability and other benefits also, but the big deal out of this is that it <clears throat> removes a trusted setup, which has been a point of FUD that, you know, Pirate has got for a long time. And I don't think it's ever been an issue. There's never been anything compromised in the past, but this removes that FUD and makes it even more decentralized, which is absolutely incredible. So we really appreciate Forge. You guys have no idea how lucky we are to have <clears throat> someone like him around. He really knows what he's doing. He's really smart. He's uh, not conceited about it. He's very humble, so he makes sure, you know, he dots all of his I's and crosses his T's. And he, like, <laughs> if you have a chance, go out and send Forge a thank you. Like, he is really, really doing incredible work, and he never asks for anything for it. He just ha hammers away in his workshop, <laughs> building us the, you know, best wallets that are out there, the most private, by default wallets that are around. And this Orchard upgrade is a big project, and he is doing great work on it. And, uh, Appreciate everybody on the team who is helping him test and do everything to get this upgrade out because it is the biggest thing going on. So we absolutely love Forge. I know he doesn't uh, come out and speak in public that often. He'll always respond to your messages. If you ping him on, you know, uh, Discord or Telegram or something, he'll he usually respond and answer questions. But he is really incredible. We are so, so lucky we have him. So make sure you guys <laughs> take a chance to ping Forge and tell him thank you so much for all your hard work. He really, you know, is the backbone for what we're doing here. And we love him to death. So uh, keep your eye out for more Orchard updates. I'll, uh, as soon as we have more information, I'll let you know. But like I said, we're uh, taking this slow, making sure everything is done right, and making sure we test the crap out of it. We're going to test, test, test uh, until we are 100% confident that, you know, we have all these bugs hammered out. And then everything will go smoothly, because this is a huge bit deal for us. And let me see what else. I think that I think that might be everything I have. Does anybody else have anything to add? Did I miss anything? All right. So if uh, anyone else has anything to add or any comments or anything like that, you can go ahead and raise your hand. We'll bring you on stage. Come on, Lutz. I know you have something to say, Lutz. There we go. Oh, how do I bring him on stage? Uh, there we go. Testing, testing. What's up, Boots? What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, guys? I see we got quite... Now you're here. Oh, that warms my heart. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, nothing much. Um, I said a few things yesterday. I'll, I guess I'll repeat it again here. Uh, there's two things I'm working on. Uh, one of them is a major possibility. Uh, he said he will contact me after the holidays and, uh, you know, we'll see if we could get pirate in some movies. Um, that's, that's, a not a sure thing. And, uh, you know, let's, let's hope he comes back and he embraces, uh, you know, what we have at the moment. Uh, so I'm working on that guys. And, uh, you know, with next so you know you know why I don't go to events anymore. Uh you know you know why I don't do interviews anymore. Uh it's just a waste of time at this point, I believe. Uh you you can see by the proof that you've been doing it for quite a long time and you see it does nothing. Uh so I rather make moves that actually, you know, are, are gonna make a, a bigger difference than the normal you know, the normal cycle that we keep doing here. Uh so so I think we need our own events. Like, like everything else I say, we need to own everything, right? Uh, we need to own our events. Uh, you know I, know, I know it's nice to play nice with Monero, but, you know, it'd be nice to have our own Monero uh, pirate soccer team, right? I mean, we need to own everything. All right, so uh, next year, I want to do events. I wanted to do it this year, but the car's not ready. Uh, but next year, 
let's hope to God that it is ready. And if you want to push that along, uh, you could send an email to Carolina Vader and say, when will the pirate car be ready? And maybe, maybe you know, put a little fire underneath their asses. Uh, you know, that's and, and you, you remember them. They were on the Armada for a while. They were accepting pirate. Yeah, yeah uh, I remember them. So if you guys, uh, if you want to help me out, send them an email because, you know, it's getting a little frustrating for myself, too. Uh, I, so, uh, you know, let them know that there's a huge community waiting for this project. And, uh, you know, yeah. All right, guys. So if you can help me it's out right. in that method, uh, do that because we want this car to be ready by next year uh, so that we could attend real shows and win under the name of Pirate Chain. And then when they approach the car, we could teach them. And these are not people like we meet in the, these crypto events. These are normal people. So we could actually teach and do some good. Because when you go to these other events, everybody knows everything already. It's like they're all professionals. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, a peanut coin is going to be worth a million dollars. You know, you, you, you know it's, everybody's got their own thing in these shows where you know, they, they all feel like they know better than you, right? Even though I've been here 15 years, everybody knows better than me, right? Uh, so I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't think it's going to work anymore. I don't think going to any Bitcoin experience or, uh, you know, uh, in Arcapulco, you know, it's nice to make network connections. But I don't think as far as for Pirate, it's not going to do anything because we're not getting to the public. We're not really getting to those people no. out there. We're, we're kind of in our own little echo chamber going on here, you know? Yeah, yeah. The way I look at it is like there's not a ton of benefit of being at the conferences, but there is a lot lost if we have absolutely no representation at them. That's why we don't go crazy going. I get I get emails like every week trying to get us to sponsor some event out there. Most of them want crazy money, and I am trying to focus. Of course, we want we're going to go to these events and promote Pirate Chain there too. But we are trying to focus on getting some more like digital content and video content. And putting some more of our effort in that direction too, because I, I somewhat agree with you. They do these; they do turn into circle jerks at a certain point. You see the same people there and stuff like that. But I think it would be bad if we had no representation at any of them. You know, so we're we do a few events, and but then we're definitely trying to focus our energy on doing some video content and uh, blogs and stuff like that. Some other avenues of promoting. And I really like the idea. That would be incredible if you could get pirate chain used in a movie that would be absolutely awesome especially if they did a transaction or had it in the script or something the product placement that would be absolutely incredible that's the kind of out-of-box marketing we uh, really really need so we absolutely yep. love that yep. idea so I I, I I i am talking to somebody so and he's really popular uh you know and, and i won't divulge his name till uh you know till till i'm secure that you know He's uh he's yeah. on board, but but he did give me a number, and you know we're uh you know the number I threw out there earlier is just imaginative. It's not the real number. I was yeah. just to see what people felt about you know having a movie, having us in a movie, which I think would go a long way. You know, if you spend yeah. a lot of money on marketing now, it I, it dissipates. Like in in a year yeah. from now, it's like you lost all your money for nothing. Like you, you did nothing that actually that was concrete and stayed with us right where a movie yeah. it could live on for a very long time you know and you know it might be slow but it'll be there gathering people little by little that watch the movie and say oh what's pirate chain you know and they did a transaction in pirate chain in this movie what's pirate chain right that that would be better in my opinion yeah that would be absolutely incredible if we could do that so you may make sure to keep us updated with it and let us know if there's anything we can do to help the community uh if we you know need to raise funds or something that would be absolutely awesome i'm really excited to hear some updates about that yeah man they, the if you guys want to help been looking forward to yeah. that for, we've been looking forward to that pirate car for a while so i'm excited to get it done hey why don't you put dude, that email in the chat down there if you want people to email it email dude i paid in the chat. i paid like 15 grand for that body kit and uh you know and a, a couple grand for a, a few other things man it's been like three years bro so i kind of feel like you know they're not taking me seriously, you know. So if you guys, yeah. if you guys want to show Caroline and Vader how big we are, uh, you know, send them an email. You say, you know, Lutz told me you're building the pirate car. You know, can you tell me yeah. when that's going to be done? You know, because I don't think they're taking us very seriously, and uh, you know, it's it's a little frustrating. You can imagine for myself where I've been waiting yeah. three years, 
And that's my car. That's that's literally the car I slept in when I was in the streets. I took it and I put a body kit on it. So, you know, it, it's it means more to me that car than just it being changed at the moment. You know, that's Veronica, bro. That's my first love. She took wow. care of me. That that car took care of me when nobody else did. I was in the streets. And let me tell you, I think you know, when it's cold outside, you turn on the heat in the car. When it's cold hot, you turn on the air condition, you know. And then you get used to sleeping in there. And that's uh that was that's that car is very special to me because it took you know, it took care of me. You know, and at this point, kind of feel like I'm being jerked a little bit, you know. Yeah. Um you know, but but, well, drop but that you know email be- in the chat. Drop the email in the chat. I'm not gonna remember it if you don't. So I uh, uh yeah, Carolina in Vader has a website, man. Uh just you know, go go it, it should be over there. Uh but I will Carolina Vader. Carolina Vader. That's who's building our, our pirate car. Our pirate car is going to be a Vader. It's the same car that was in the movie The Joker. Remember that pink car that he was dr- he was driving? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's that same cool car, but only we're going to bring that to, to shows and we'll be super unique. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and, then, and then if we can find somebody who's uh, you know, willing to race it, we might even do that, too. Because I think that if somebody saw a pirate car racing down the line, you know, I don't know if you guys attend drag races, but if you saw this car racing down the line and kicking ass, people would be like, what the fuck is that car, right? And it would really bring a lot of attention, I think. You know, I think this is, this is how to do it. This is how you get the real people. You know, we, we need yeah. to do real things and, not, and get out of this echo chamber we're in. You know, and that's what I've been trying to do. You know, I, I, we should have did it this summer, but. It wasn't done. Car's still not yeah, done. And gross. I just can't imagine something, you know, taking so long. You know, they, they had some hiccups here and there. And, you know, at this point, you know, uh, I, think, I think you guys need to help me out and show them how many people are waiting for this goddamn car so that we could, we could utilize it in these events, you know, where we could put up a boost like we normally do, but also have that attraction of the car where, where it draws people in, right? And we could talk to them. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't believe it's been three years already. But damn, uh, yeah, that's unacceptable. Then you get that done. That's my Veronica, bro. That's, that's my baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, we love the work you're doing. And yeah, guys, keep these. If anybody else has any of these uh, out of the box ideas, uh, we'd love it. We're a community project. You know, we're with the community. That's all any of us are. So if you want to participate, if you have any ideas, or if you want to do it yourself, or if you want help, Whatever, everything's open source here. <clears throat> you can use any of our logos or designs. Uh, they're all free to use, and we really encourage people to do that. So if you get any of these out-of-the-box ideas, or if you have any skills or knowledge that are unique, make sure to you know, come to the Discord, come to Telegram, let us know, and get organized. And we do community calls on Sundays at uh, what is it, 1 p.m. Eastern time, every Sunday. We have lots of cool people showing up in there. That's where we discuss these kind of ideas. So if you want to participate in the community, participate in the marketing or anything, come join us on the community calls. We have a great time there every Sunday. We could even do a Piratopia without spending much money, guys. We could do it in my goddamn backyard if you guys want. I got, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure we could fit quite a few people in a half an acre. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'll help. I'll help organize it. and I'll fly up there. Let's make it happen. I mean, yeah, we, we don't. We, if you're really serious about it, we should start a group chat, throw a few people in there, and start, you know, talking about it and uh, seeing how much it would cost and stuff. We got to think outside the box, guys. You know, you know, grassroots marketing is all about marketing with no money. Remember that. <laughs> that that's how we used to do it. Like, like at some point, money came in and everybody was using uh, AdSense and stuff. But you know, back in the day, it was grassroots, man. We throw out maybe a press release, you know, for three hundred bucks, so all the bloggers get it, um, and and that's it. And we would go through all the channels. We would go through a Bitcoin talk and post it, and that's grassroots marketing. Just naturally going out there and putting posts everywhere, and going on all social medias, and you know, tell everybody about it. Now, and and we had bounties, right? Everybody, there was there's something called Gleam.io where we would utilize a lot in other projects. And, uh, you know, it allows people to, you know, it, it checks off the boxes. Uh, you know, you have to make sure you like this and you, and you, uh, you, 
you know, look at Gleam.io. It, it makes sure that everybody does exactly what they need to for social medias. And once they're complete, they could get their bounty. Uh, I'm not sure if there's other services like that, but I mean, when you got no money, guys, grassroots marketing, you got to learn how to do that. Yeah. It's not that we don't have any money, but we do like to be wise with it. Like a lot of these promotional opportunities, they're just throwing your money away. Or the market, there's some crypto marketing firms out there that are like crypto specific and they're almost a complete joke. You pay them a bunch of money and they just pay an influencer and let you go on this, pay a YouTube channel and they let you go on this YouTube channel for one episode and that's it. You get, you give this YouTuber free content and pay for it. It's just, there's always been, a, I've always really appreciated Pirate Chain because we don't pay influencers. That's always been, just been like, part of our credibility that, you know, I really appreciate it about Pirate that we don't pay influencers. So, because most of them, it's a waste of money anyways. They just, they'll just pump and dump your coin even if you do pay them and they're a waste of time. Most of them aren't good people by any means. Yeah, and then they talk trash right after you pay them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, that's uh, which Pirate is very, very unique in the fact that we don't pay influencers. You go and talk to marketing people in the crypto space, they're like, oh, you need to pay this guy. And they send you a pricing sheet or it costs you 25 grand to go on BitBoy or something like that. I'm like, what are you guys? They don't know what they're talking about. They're just trying to make money. And it's just a, you know, influence. Nah, dude, I, I think it was more game. than that for BitBoy. He was one of the that's top. Probably. <laughs> I had a list, bro. I used to have a list. Yeah. I, I don't know where it is, but thousands, each one of those influencers, thousands, bro, thousands they made. I, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, and, 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 then, and then you see, and then I see like people like Aaron Day out there and, and Roger Ver. And I mean, you really think those guys care about privacy? I mean, I, I think, I think he's more like a parrot. He's just repeating things he just learned. Mm -hmm. And, and, and he goes on stage and he, he goes, oh, look what I just learned, guys. You could put this to trade over and this to this. It's, it's silly. Yeah. It's silly yeah. because you, you're not really embracing privacy. You can't go both ways. You, know, you can't sit there and say, oh, I like transparency and I like privacy. You can't do that. Like, I, I hate people that do that. You can't tell me you love BSV and you love pirate at the same time. It, that, that just makes no sense. I don't know. I go on rants. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't we don't pay pe we don't pay influencers around here, and I really appreciate that. Most of them are any new users they bring to you will be crappy users, and they're not going to be passionate people who are trying to you know find a replacement for fiat. You know, they're just going to be pump and dump boys that you know will just pump and dump your project. So it's just a waste. I don't I don't really follow any crypto influencers. I get my crypto. I follow some developers and stuff like that, but. These crypto influencers are a joke. So, did you say something, low fat milk? I thought I heard you say it. Were you trying to chime in? Uh, I was just giving Lutz a hard time. I was going to, I can't, I'm tongue tied. I was going to say I was going to cook the burgers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, low yeah, fat. Low fat Exoskeleton is old school, says, man. Love you, bro. Exoskeleton says we can uh, name it Piratopia. I think, yeah, it was Exoskeleton. Yeah, that'd be fun, man. We'll organize that. Yeah, we're still, I we're still supposed to, to go to New York. We're still supposed to have a barbecue at Draith's, but uh, yeah, just haven't done that yet. All right, let's chase him down. Make him honor that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Is there anyone else out there that has anything to chime in? Questions, comments? Anything interesting going on out there? All right, let me make sure the chat doesn't have anything going on. Hey, uh, no. hey, the Johns. Start going up. Oh, go ahead, Lutz. The Johns. What? Why don't we uh for the next monthly update? Why don't we uh, get Vic Sharma in here? You know, and we could interview him. I would. That would be awesome. Would the monthly update be the best time to do that, or should we do like a Twitter space or something? Or do you think? Uh, I think combining the two in one would give us more. Uh, you know, more oomph to get more yeah, people here. Love, yeah, I was planning on talking to, because Vic's going to be at Monerotopia. I was going to corner him and uh, talk to him while we were down there. So I would, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him and see if we can get him on an update or a Twitter space at the very least. He's very friendly to Pi. He likes my pirate tweets sometimes. So, like oh, yeah. Well, yeah. They'll get a yeah, I'm, wallet someday. 
I met him before and his wife. He's a really nice guy. Yeah, he seems really good. Everybody, everybody has good things to say about him. So I'm definitely, that's one of the guys I'm going to be trying to talk uh, talk to uh, this Cake next weekend. Cake Wallet is coming out with all kinds of crazy things. So it'd be cool to get him here and, you know, he could explain to us all the features of Cake Wallet. Yeah, they really are doing, they're cool guys and they got a cool product too. I like Cake Wallet. I like it a whole lot better once they get pirate on there. So, but we're going to do our best to try to make that happen. No, no promises. Oh, yeah, definitely no promises, but uh, I'm going to be talking to him this week. Cake Wallet is good. Edge Wallet, guys. Those are the only two you should be using as far as third parties. I've That's been on these... Uh, have. I've been on X, or some of these chats, and a lot of these chats are convincing people to use custo custodial wallets. And yeah. the reasoning for that is because it's easier to install. Yeah. Um... I mean, if you don't know how to download a wallet and install it, I mean, it's kind of the same thing as downloading a third-party app and installing it. I really don't see the logic. Um, point. I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing the logic in what they're saying, so they are obviously got an agenda, and they're trying to get everybody into these custodial wallets. All right, so you got to be careful. All right? it's, it's, the word custodial itself is bad. Uh, you know, it's a self, you want a self-owned wallet, right? You, don't, you want a self-hosted wallet. You don't want anybody else to host your wallet for you because when your money is not in your wallet, it's in someone else's. And yep. it's not your, your coin anymore. Your keys, your coins. Yeah. And even if you're using a, you know, Pirate Chain's Light Wallet, you can still run your Light Wallet off of your Treasure Chest full node. You know, so if you have like a lap, you have a full node at home, you have a laptop with Light Wallet or something, you can configure it to run off of your uh, Treasure Chest wallet. It's got port. Port forwarding, I think it's called. <clears throat> so if you guys uh, are running life, anybody out there has treasure chest and light wallet, look into that. It's not that difficult. And, and then you're running off your full node that you have going back at home. And that really is like the most decentralized way to do it. So uh, make sure you guys look into that. All right, let's see. Well, we're... Uh, you guys... You guys also should know that you should never chain send coins from one exchange to another exchange. I want you guys, you guys should know that. That's like basics. Okay, if yeah, you're using Bitcoin, you. never send the Bitcoin from one exchange to another exchange. You never do that. Yep. I've seen people get their accounts frozen and stuff like that for going from like trade over or something to Coinbase, you know? So, yeah. So lucky if they send it back. Out. Yeah, you'd be lucky if right. you get it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you can't prove. Like, a lot of times these exchanges will, you know, give you a certain amount of time to prove where you got funds from uh, and that you got them legally. But a lot of times there's no way to even prove that to them. Like, if you, you know, if you sold your friend a guitar for, you know, 5,000 pirate chain or something, you have that 5,000 on your wallet. You don't have a receipt anywhere or any way to prove to this exchange. So they'll just freaking lock your account and keep your funds. And they say, once you can prove to us, then you can get your funds back. But there's literally no way to prove. An in-person transaction. So just don't leave, just don't leave funds on exchanges. You know, if you buy some, withdraw them immediately. You know, if you're there to cash out or something, sell sell your coins immediately and send it to a bank account or whatever you're doing. But definitely don't leave them there. It's not just it's not just them like going belly up, like uh, you know FTX or one of these other exchanges. It's a risk. It's also just a risk of them you know being dicks and demanding these uh, unreasonable compliance. So don't don't leave coins there any more than you're willing to lose, you know. So 100, uh, if you 100%. haven't got that yet, I don't know how to make it any more clear. You got to don't I know it's on exchanges. I know it's a lot more difficult with local Monero being down, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. It was definitely a blow to the economy. Local local Monero was a big, you know, was a big deal. Um, yeah. And they took that down, too. All right. So, uh, you know, oh. Uh, there's another another method I'm going to tell you about right now. Okay, guys, uh, you could buy you could buy gold and silver with crypto. Uh, there's a lot of websites that will accept crypto directly for for uh, for gold and silver. Now you could buy gold and silver. You can even go to your local pawn shop. You know they might accept Bitcoin. I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, buy gold and silver when you want to cash out. Um, and then and then if you really need fiat. If, you know, go to another shop that buys and sells gold, and they'll, bu they'll, they'll buy it from you for cash. 
So that's a method you could use. Okay. Um, you know, and, and, and they don't mind doing any, everything under the books because most of those places are shady anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, gold and silver are still incredible tools. Just because we have, uh, you know, digital gold and silver uh, doesn't mean that gold and silver are completely useless. I got a nice little stack of silver at home, and I try to buy a little every year. So, and yeah, there are quite a few sites out there that accept crypto. And I just got, uh, I think it was an exoskeleton that gave me this idea the other day, because we have Monazon now, where you can make orders off of Amazon uh, privately using Pirate Chain or Monero and several other coins. Uh, but they sell gold and silver on Amazon. So I'm thinking about using Monazon to buy some silver off of Amazon with Pirate Chain. So I will update you. I'm going to try to do that for Christmas, buy some silver for Christmas for people. So I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. Cause, you nice. Know, I, I, yeah, I think we can buy gold and silver with it right now. And you can do it privately. If you're not familiar with how Monazon works, um, basically they have people, they call them fulfillers, I believe. But you could sign up to be a fulfiller and collect a fee for it. But basically, you go on there and uh, you want to order something. Let's say you want to order a basketball off of Amazon. Uh, you go on the website uh, and place the order. Or actually, the fulfiller places the order on Amazon for you. They use their own personal Amazon account. And they have it shipped to one of those Amazon boxes. You'll see them outside gas stations or shopping plazas, especially in bigger cities. They have these Amazon boxes. That it's shipped there and you get a code that unlocks the box that has your product in it. So you don't have to give your name or address. And obviously none of your card information is there because you're paying in Pirate Chain. So it's just about as anonymous as you can get. The only real uh, vulnerability is if there's like cameras on the, which there always are cameras on those Amazon boxes. So technically you'll be on camera going to grab your package, but it's still in a way more private way. And I believe it's a 5% fee on it, which goes to the fulfiller. So you can make money both ways. If you're someone who wants to be a fulfiller, make a little bit of extra pirate chain or Monero. Uh, or if you want to be a purchaser, you can find them both at Monazon, M-O-N-E-Z-O-N. Mon Mon no? Remember, remember Monazon, uh, the reason why it's doing good is because it filled the gap what happened was purse.io was huge for years. I mean, I like nine years it's been going strong, this thing. Purse.io. Yeah. They just recently they well, they took it down a while a few months ago, I think, some like maybe longer. Uh and mod and I would I came out when it was going down and I was telling you guys this is an opportunity. You know, so it was nice that Monero took that opportunity. Uh, I saw it before it even happened. All right. Uh yeah. There's also Bitgree. Maybe if you guys want to contact them, they're like Monizon, uh, where, where maybe we could get Pirate on there. Uh, one is called Bitgree, B-I-T-G-R-E-E. -E. It's, it's a similar concept. And, uh, and then there's another one. If I can find the name. I'll so see we... if I can reach out to them. And, uh, I think I found them on Twitter. I'll see if I can reach out to them. Uh, yeah, there, conversation. See if they'll be willing to have pirate on there. There's another one. I'll, I'll get the name eventually. It'll come to me. Uh, All right, just send and, it to me whenever you do. Okay. It, but these guys are making bank, bro, because Purse.io went down. Right? I mean, these these services took up that one. Three services are are fulfilling that niche of that one service. Yeah, it really is incredible. Because as of right now, you could buy anything you want off of Amazon with Pirate Chain which is pretty incredible, I think. There's, they literally sell absolutely everything there. So uh, no excuses now. So yeah, go and use Monazon for your for Pirate Chain Black Friday uh, for support our merchants, you know. That's, uh, that benefits the ecosystem too, just using your money, preserving your privacy. That's what it's all about. And it's that time of year. So if you consider yourself a real pirate and you don't buy even one Christmas present with Pirate Chain, then I don't believe you. You need to go out there and spend some of that. I know you want to hold on to it because you want to spend, you know, your crappy fiat. But, you know, holding it's how we get rich. Using it's how we change the world. You know, that's how that's how I look at it. And I want to change the world, not just make a bunch of money. So. Well, uh, we're closing in on an hour. I want to try to keep this under an hour for the people who come back and listen to it on YouTube and other platforms. We don't have to just listen to us chatting. 
Uh, so if anybody else has anything to say, go ahead and raise your hand so we can get you in here. Uh, bit you off. Anything else to add, Ludes? Bit off. B-I-T-O-F-F is the other one. Okay, I'm putting in my notes now. So, you know, see if they could do the same thing like Monazon and get us in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll reach out to them then. Hell yeah, thanks. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, don't forget to keep your eye out for the monthly newsletter. All this information and more will be in that. Uh, our community calls are Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you drop in and hang out on those. And uh, we're doing a Twitter space in a couple weeks, too. We haven't picked a time or date for it yet. So keep an eye out for the Twitter spaces. Those always get really popular. So, uh, and I don't think we have anything else to mention. Yeah, it was a great meeting, guys. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. And uh, let's do it again a month from now. We'll have a lot more going on. So thank you so much for coming, everybody. And remember, your privacy is your freedom. Join us over here at Pirate Chain and take it back. You guys have a great day. Arr! Arr! Transactions anonymous and privatized. CK snarks here to shield transactions. Pirates got that satisfaction. This day and age, I can't get no privacy. Everything I'm being told sounds like a lie to me. I don't care, you can do what you want. I'd rather feel safe and secure than on the run. Can't be compromised. Treasure and gold.